Right, it's time for showbiz, and Miss G is here, and she's in black, and I'm wondering why you are in black. Yes. Um, all black. All black. Uh, um, today, uh, the multimedia family, um, a pandits of uh, showbiz A to Z, those who were with Williams okay. A to Z, and all friends and sympathizers of Nana Fexin, who we deem as one of us, uh, paid the family a visit, and um, we needed to go confirm. Yes, we've heard, but we need to go confirm and also commiserate with them. So um, here's what happened when we paid a visit. <laughs> But now, we don't have any results, so none of us can tell yet what caused his death. I've seen a few publications online um, insinuating and suggesting that he died because of his uh, diabetes. Um, to be honest, I don't know where they got that report. Maybe they've got the reports before me, but this is to debunk the fact that we actually don't know yet until the reports from the autopsy has come. Let's all just pray that we get the strength to be able to go through these times. Um, I know he was diabetic, but as at Tuesday when he died, he was on air on Monday to do his show on xylophone. So I'm, I'm a bit surprised that people are saying that's the reason. Well, maybe um, because, you know, we, like you said, we knew he was diabetic, we knew he fought really hard, and, uh, you know, we saw the transformation from the huge Nana Texan we knew to the very slim one. Do you know of any other thing that might have been, you know, a problem or an illness might have been battling with? I doubt. I'm not so certain. I know for a fact that his weight loss, he was taking conscious effort to actually work on it, his diet and exercise and all. Yeah, so that alone, I can say, is probably because of that, but not a particular illness. You have encountered him. You've heard him on other platforms. He was very healthy. He was strong. It's not like somebody who has been a sick person or, you know, etc. Yeah, so... God knows why it's happened like that. Let's just wait and see what the outcome is, and then we can make, you know, any um, inferences. However, my plea is for every one of us to say a prayer or two for the family, most especially the wife, the daughters that he's left behind. Three. The oldest is six. The youngest is two. I mean, growing up knowing that you don't have a father, it's a very, very difficult thing. indeed and the last picture you saw which Atawali was a picture he took on Saturday when he joined them on showbiz oh, yeah. A to Z and um, unfortunately he's gone so the family are yet to you know discuss or prepare um, for any rights now we don't know whether there'll be a one week and all that they said they will let us know in sure. due time okay. and we'll keep our viewers posted definitely so so away from nana texan and let's talk about uncle Lebo white who's waded into the fray of capital bank and the other banks that have collapsed and uh, he's saying that these leaders have failed us look at what is coming out um, after the, the collapse of the banks they are not the kind of thing that you can, you can teach to your child and say that this is a good example, F follow it. We will not be able to do that. And yet, they were in very high positions. So that is what I mean, that all around us, every day, we get evidence that we wish some people in certain responsible positions had exhibited a little bit more um, principles and a little bit more love for Ghana. You know, because if they had had that love for Ghana, I'm not too sure they would have thrown us into this situation where the government now has to cough up some other funds uh, to try to sustain this so that the banking system is not broken uh, and that so that people don't lose um, confidence in the banking system. So that, that is what I mean. All right. So that's playwright Uncle yeah. Ibo. What I'm waiting for him.
to do next mm. is probably to put a play together about this. I'm sure in the next play, we're going to hear something about these five bands. Definitely, you can trust Ebo White and his team for that. I'm waiting to see his one-man play, which is supposed to be in September. Okay. I'm sure that play would have something about these five bands. But Reggie Rockstone has been talking about stress and how he manages stress. You know, Reggie is over 50 now, and uh, he's been speaking about how he transforms all that into songwriting. So he was speaking on Written in the Stars on Joy Prime. Depression. Mm. I wouldn't say depression. I mean, I went through some bad, you know, my, my first marriage was, 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 was kind of, mm. but what did I do? Mm -hmm. I, I, I internalized mm -hmm. and, and then I went, I made that song, Reggie, mm -hmm. and I expressed how I was feeling mm -hmm. and the song got me to the Cora Awards. That's mm -hmm. how I ended up in South Africa yeah. the first time. Yeah. And so, you know, I internalized and then I, 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 I put it into art. You know what I mean? So, so you 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 saying you were fired up? Yes. But you've never allowed yourself nah. for anxiety to yeah. Come I can't say you. I can't say rock bottom where mm -hmm. I'm like I'm down and ass out. No way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never. Never. Okay. All right, so that's Reggie Rockstone. And uh, Israel, we are here in Ghana, but you know we have fans all the way oh, yeah. in, across the world, you yeah, know. So yeah, yeah, here yeah. is a woman called Nana, or Mary Nana Setre, who is based in the UK and is down in Ghana here to promote her song called Inshira. And she came by and said, you need to have an interview with me. I need to show people <laughs> in the UK that you had an interview with me. Oh. So let's do this interview. So I listened to a song, very beautiful song, but we had a report on the song because she's a dickness and you know how this Pentecostal dickness is oh, so it's a gospel track a gospel track and uh, so we had something from her so here's it <laughs> With the changing fashion trends, gospel artists who have moved along with the Vogue have been severely criticized. Dickens and gospel musician Mary Nanasecha believes that there is no problem with gospel artists exhibiting extreme fashion sense. Christianity to me, you know, is from the heart. So to me, uh, it's not a, a problem, you know. It's not a problem like maybe dressing up. You see, so if you dress up, I think it's, it's good. Even Jesus like it. So that, that that's what you know. That's what I believe. That's that's my opinion. The Church of Pentecost Dickness, who is out with a new single titled Inshira, is of the view that shouting and attacking one's enemies in gospel songs is not strange. A certain brother told me that you know he would just even write um, um, all the prayers on the board, and when. He wake up or something like that. He would just say, number one, God. You know, such prayer doesn't, you know, to me, such prayer is, is not good. So you have to, you know, stand up and uh, pray to God uh, in a strong way. If you look at the music and I would say, yes, yeah, you have to pray and you have to, you know, uh, 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 pray hard, you know. Mary Nanasetra is based in the United Kingdom by looking forward to propagating the gospel in Ghana. All right, so that's... For, for, for the love of the uh, ABN fraternity oh. and those watching across Europe, mm -hmm. uh, we say, well, congratulations to her. Congratulations to her. Yeah. And uh, quickly before I go, some songs have been banned in Nigeria. You know that we keep hearing the certain song. You remember Faustus, This is Nigeria, and yeah. all the issues this from This is Nigeria, the... yeah. Exactly. So it's among a few of the songs that I've seen that have been banned in Nigeria. Why? Because... They claim it contains explicit words, words that do not promote democracy. Now, they have a letter from the National Broadcasting Corporation. And so if we can have the letter on the screen, you know that some of these songs are... All right. So, uh, so Bella Niger Online has just uh, transcribed that. I mean, picked up that script. So the National uh, Broadcasting Commission has banned at least three songs by top Nigerian singers, Olamide. Files and uh, one day call from being broadcast across the country. The NBC, in a letter to a media station in Jos, fined the company, uh, Jodaj Communications Limited, 100,000 100, naira for airing the song, saying they contain vulgar and indecent music lyrics. The letter added that the commission had repeatedly warned the station from airing the songs. The songs include Files, This is Nigeria, DJ uh, Kawise, and Olamide's See Mary. See Jesus and one day calls is Kaba. On the reason for the ban, the NBC in their letter said this is Nigeria, is laced with vulgar 
lyrics. Uh, right, so it goes on and on and on. Okay, but that's curious. Very, I mean, it's, very. A, it's a track that's quite gone around the world mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. enjoy so it. So why wait till everyone has listened to it, people are fully in love yeah. with it? Well, people say that when you ban these songs on traditional media... You tend to actually promote it. Exactly. Yeah. So let's see what happens and let's see what response these ones whose songs have been banned give us. But thank you for having me, Israel. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. for bringing us showbiz. Mm -hmm.